y'all, what's up? Chad Wright coming at you here once again on the channel, Team Righteous. And today we got a big job coming up here. We got a brand new 2022 Hayabusa here in the house. Bone stock. Go check this thing out. Bone stock. Let's see. I don't think it's even uh, got too many miles on it. We're right around 300 miles. And this thing here still got the stock exhaust on it. Still got everything stock on it, but we're about to change some of that here in just a minute. So 371 miles and we're gonna do some changes to it, do some upgrades, put the Brock stuff on it. Let y'all hear this thing right here just real quick. Cause it ain't gonna sound like this right here for very long either. This guy. <laughs> so anyways, we're about to throw this thing here on the lift, start doing some changes, and we're gonna put the Brock touches on it. We'll be back at y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so we're back. Got the side fairings off, got the mufflers off, and we're doing a Sprint air filter as well. Here's a stock one, there's a sprint one. Let's take these things right here outside. Y'all see. So let's see if you can see a difference. Everybody's always wondering, what's the big deal about a sprint air filter? Is it worth it or is it not? So this is uh looking through it into the sun. See a little bit of light. Very little. Let's see what the difference is with the sprint here. Hey, you can look through it right now. You can see my truck over there. You don't see me. Still looking good. <laughs> so anyways, I'm about to put this uh, spring air filter in here. And then we're going to put the exhaust stone. And we'll be back at y'all in just a minute. All right, y'all. So we're getting the bike buttoned up now. We've got the Brox CT single side uh, bolted up, cleaned up. All the springs put on there. Everything's ready to go. So now that we got the exhaust bolted up and everything, we got to put the radiator on, put the coolant in. Uh, we got to lower it. So we got to put the uh, Brox window links on and he's already got the Brox front straps we put on earlier. So she's coming around. We'll be done with it here before you know it. All right, y'all. So we got the exhaust on the booster here. We're putting in the engine ice. We've got the front end strap. All thing else we like to do is uh, putting the window links on the back and we got to do the initial startup, make sure the coolant system's bled and everything. So we're going to let y'all hear this thing right here on the first startup. show you all that in another video but if you block off the pair valve it will not do the crackling and popping like that right there or you can leave it plugged up like the stock is and it'll do the crackle tune like that right there you've probably seen some of the crackle videos that we've done before on the dyno some people like it some people don't so anyways we're gonna get these fairings put on here and get the same 
there and finished up. And with the magic of YouTube, we're back. What's up, y'all? So we got the Gen 3 done. We got all the stuff put on there. Everything's ready to go. I'm gonna let y'all check this thing out here, but you gotta wait one second. So anyways, what all do we do? Well, you saw all the exhaust on there before. So we got the exhaust on. We got the Brox window links put on. Uh, we got the Brox lowering strap in the front put on as well. Uh, he already had the Brox Corbin seat put on on the bike. So he had it there when he rolled in. And uh, we done the first service on the bike. The bike's got 371 miles. We done the first service on it. We uh, use Amsoil, metric motorcycle oil. And we also put in engine ice. So we got engine ice in the bike. Try to help it run nice and cool and everything. So anyways, I'm gonna let y'all check this thing out now that it's finished. Now look at it compared to what it did the other day versus now how does it look what do y'all think drop down in the comments below what do y'all think about this thing i'm gonna set this camera up here let y'all hear this brox exhaust and uh let y'all check it out let me know what you what you think about it and just to let you know this brox exhaust hearing it on video does not do it justice i definitely have got to say that i've heard a few of them before on video hearing it in person it's definitely a definitely a whole lot better sounding exhaust than what i ever thought before so anyways y'all check this thing right here out All right, y'all, so I'm gonna set this camera up here. Go over here and start it up. It's already been running, so that might be down in the comments below. You're not supposed to start it up and rev it up any. Yeah, it's already been, uh, it's already been sitting here running and warming. It's already at operating temperature, so y'all don't be, uh, be beat me up down in the comments too much. Right, y'all so that's it for the video just want to let y'all hear what that thing out there sounded like a little bit like i said the videos you've heard the sound clips you've heard before in the past does not do it justice you got to hear this brock ct single-sided muffler in person uh i would definitely like to hear a dual side as well uh, to see what it sounds like and as far as seeing this bike in person i've seen a few of them in person but this is the first one i really got to spend time with and be up close and personal with and everything and this bike just looks immaculate it's uh the gen 3 i think suzuki knocked it out of the park with this bike uh it's not what everybody thought that it was going to be not a 1441 not a whole lot more power not turbo power not supercharged none of that stuff out there but i think they've done a great job with it uh you know they already had the market you know where they wanted it at and the most guys is either they're going to ride the bike just like it is kind of do a few little things like we did here or they're going to go after the aftermarket and that's where guys like us at 57 motorsports and other guys are able to uh you know shops are able to tune them up and build bigger motors and everything else so there's no limits to these motors i mean well there is but you know the it's it's crazy how much power you can put down with a with a high boost motor and especially when you start turbocharging them and everything else uh, and they're putting out 700 horsepower with these motors you know so it's really cool you know what can be done with these things right here and suzuki knew that all things they needed to do is produce a new look and then the aftermarket would take over so anyways appreciate all y'all have a good one. Oh yeah one more thing i wanted to include before we finish this video if you're looking to get anything from brock's performance whether it be the sprint filter the lower end links the strap kit uh you're looking to get a brock's clutch mod for your hayabusa looking to get that brox exhaust anything that you want to get and you want to save some money on it be sure to drop down below in the description there's a link there for brox performance and you can do use discount code team righteous five to save money on your brox purchase so be sure to check that description out see ya